Out of all the power assist devices, this one's the most fun. Wheelchair users have the option to turn their wheelchair into a three-wheeling, off-road beaten, your dreaming, fantastic feeling beast. Whilst other power assist helps you get from A to B, this one lets you go via C. It offers even greater independence, freedom, and mobility for wheelchair users. The coolest thing about this device is that it lifts those tiny front wheels off the ground and replaces it with a big pneumatic tire. This means that tiny wheel that loves to sink itself into some grass is no longer a factor. This feature makes it one of my most favorite power assist devices because it not only gives you better access to off-road environments, but it also gives you vibration dampening by not having that tiny wheel going brrrr on the hard surfaces. And vibration dampening is important because not only can vibrations cause pain, but it can also cause muscle soreness and early onset fatigue for the wheelchair user. And for some people, it can even send them into an extensor tone. Not having the da -da 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 also improves the durability of the chair because shaking your wheelchair like this for long periods of time can loosen bolts, damage bearings, and just give costly repairs over time. And having those caster wheels off the ground can also help clients who don't have the upper limb strength or balance to pop wheelies when they're going over curbs. Imagine it. Imagine those tiny wheels when you're crossing the road and it's going downhill to get to the gutter and then there's a little lip there and it goes uphill. It's very hard to get over that with that tiny wheel. So having it off the ground and replacing it with a big wheel that just rolls over all of it makes life a lot easier. These power assists not just help you on the uphill, but they also help you on the downhill because on those big handlebars, you've got those bike brakes that can help you and hit a button and that wheel can go in reverse. And lastly, for the speed demons out there, this one goes the fastest. Now in Australia, the limit is 10 kilometers an hour and I'm nothing if not a rule follower. Justin, this is the best. I got a chair that can go off-road, it can help me uphill, it can go downhill, left, right, reverse. Why wouldn't I just go this for everybody? Ah, if it wasn't so big and a bit heavy and pretty big turning circle that you can't use it indoors. An independently mounted device can be tricky for some. Now each brand have their different ways and so it's definitely worth exploring if you are doing a trial the different ways that these front assists attach, but it's something you need to consider. I've also found that if you go up some steep hills, it tends to underperform because what happens when you go uphill, all the weight goes in the back tires and that front wheel will just spin out. Now you can counteract this by going into reverse and just reversing your way up because all the weight is now onto the front wheel, but just all things to consider when you're trialing one. So, let's finish on some good news. There are portable options available. Now, they might be heavier than the other categories that we spoke about, but they are still portable, so they get to come into the mix of a power assist device, which I think is great, because I think these power assists are probably underrepresented in the market, because they've always been associated as the big bulky ones that you can't put into the back of a car. But it's worth a consideration. It's the best in so many ways. Uphill, downhill, left, right, reverse, off-road, everything. Just need to make sure you can put it in the car. Have fun.